For nearly a year now, Dr. Norm Oliver has been a regular presence on your TV. He's Virginia's state health commissioner, and he's been front and center working to help the Commonwealth navigate the coronavirus crisis. I sat down with him one on one and learned how a midlife career change shaped who he is today and why he says the push for equity is so important for people's health and wellness. As state health commissioner, Dr. Norman Oliver and his team have worked to lay out a path to wellness for Virginians, but his own journey... I was interested in science, that's for sure. ...has followed a more unconventional route. I was not one of those people who, you know, knew that he wanted to be a physician at age five. After high school, the Detroit native worked at a small print shop in New York City that published a weekly newspaper. An offer from the paper's editor to fill in on a reporting assignment turned out to be a serendipitous next step. And he says, not half bad. <laughs> he says, you, you want to be a reporter? And I said, sure. And that's pretty much what I did for the next 15 years. And it was his work with medical journalism that caused his path to take another turn. I told my wife Susan, I said, you know, I think I'd rather do this stuff than write about it. It seems really fascinating. So at the age of 36, Norm Oliver decided he wanted to be Dr. Oliver. Problem was, I had not gone to college. He soon earned his bachelor's degree and at age 40, started medical school in Cleveland. I was really interested in what, what, what motivated people, sort of psychologically, what the cultural and, and social factors influenced um, people's behavior. His first job out of medical school was once again off the beaten path. Dr. Oliver and his family moved more than 3,000 miles away to Alaska. I had to deal with disease and illness there that you just wouldn't see in the lower 48. It was there that opportunity called, quite literally. A phone call from a medical school mentor paved the way for Dr. Oliver's next step, joining the Department of Family Medicine at the University of Virginia School of Medicine. What you do and say has a lot of impact, probably more impact in some ways than what you lecture about. Dr. Oliver later became chair of the department and worked to make its clinics more patient focused. But just like before, opportunity and preparation collided, paving the way for Dr. Oliver's transition to the Virginia Department of Health. And a man who has spent his life blazing a trail personally and professionally is now leading the Virginia Department of Health down its own path in which diversity, equity, and inclusion are ingrained in its culture. We gotta be about who, who's benefiting from this? Are the most vulnerable benefiting from this? And if not, how do we change it so that the most vulnerable are gonna benefit? It's a focus, he says, is especially important during a pandemic that has disproportionately affected black, Latino, and Native American people. Dr. Oliver says he understands how exhausting this past year has been, but says there is a light at the end of the tunnel. When we've um, vaccinated enough people and um, we get herd immunity and we can go back to some semblance of normality, whatever that is, that's going to be a huge success. And Dr. Oliver shared that one of the biggest keys to his success has been the unwavering support of his wife and family. Dr. Oliver has had a big impact in many people's lives, including Dr. Cameron Webb, who first met Dr. Oliver as an undergraduate student at the University of Virginia. Webb ran as the Democratic candidate for Virginia's 5th Congressional District last year. He now serves as a member of the White House COVID-19 response team. Having a model like Dr. Oliver, who's really active in our Department of Family Medicine, went on to become the chair of that department. So he was in leadership in the health system and he was speaking out against, you know, social injustice. Again, it just it was it was great to see that in real life, in real time, right in front of me and know that that's a path that I can walk. Dr. Webb said Dr. Oliver has continued to serve as a mentor to him.